Hey there, YouTube. It's JP Dunphy, your BMW genius here at BMW of Fort Washington. In today's video, I'm going to be going over some of the latest updates that have come across with the BMW personal assistant, as well as just kind of a general rehashing of uh, now a couple year old video going over things that your personal assistant can do for you, how to interact with it, and the like. With that, let's get started. All right, so with that, let's get started and dive right on in right here. So for two ways you can get uh, your personal assistant up. You can do it either by giving a quick press of the little microphone button right there on the steering wheel. Or you can also either have, hey, BMW, active. Or if you have your own personal wake word like mine, Friday. Set the temperature to 72 degrees. Okay. Temperature at 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, just so you know, that is based on whether or not you have it uh, synchronized or not. Otherwise, you do have two microphones, right? One directly above you, one directly above your passenger over there. So if you say, you know, if, if you know, you as the driver say, Friday, I feel cold. Raised by four. The temperature and activating the seat heater. It will be more comfortable shortly. But notice the fact that I said on this side and now the passenger side, it did my side, not the passenger's side in terms of the seat heater. So that's one of the ways to do it. You can also say, Friday, I feel hot. I'm lowering the temperature and deactivating the seat heating. It will be more comfortable shortly. So, of course, you know, that's kind of the more obvious ones. You can say uh, individually turn on seat heater itself. You can also do basic things like Friday. Get directions to King of Prussia Mall. I have found several destinations. Number one. All right. Our next destination is King of Prussia Mall. So, of course, it's not limited to just simply getting in based things like that. You can also say, for instance, Friday, stop navigation. I've ended the guidance. Keep in mind that also means that you're not limited to solely things like, you know, King of Prussia Mall friendlies, whatever you might have, uh, Starbucks, any of those nature things. You can also put in a normal address. Now, in the past, you'd had to put in in such a way where you would say, uh, you know, navigate get directions to and you'd fill in you know the basic list they used to do now it responds to just normal voice commands so for instance friday get directions to 1747 westchester pike havertown pennsylvania which one of these destinations should i select and just like that it goes in so you don't have to anymore that's here let's cancel that out while I'm doing this but of course, you're not limited to solely that. Uh, I do apologize, it's very um, bright in here so you can't really see this, but as you see, we have blue lighting right there. You can say, Friday, change interior lighting to green. I've selected the lighting color green with contour on green. So, you know, basic things like that. Now, if you do, ha do have one of the latest updates as well and you're on the latest system, you also have basic things like window control. I do have a separate video based solely on that. But you can do things like Friday. Lower front passenger window 50%. I will open the windows in the first row halfway. Now, the one limitation of this, if you didn't see the other video, is it will not put them back up as a safety feature. Now, another thing you can do with this is things like automated uh, habits. What you can do with automated habits is all you have to do is simply go down to your car, settings, general settings. Underneath your personal assistant, you'll see a third option down there is automate habits. Now, this could be things like you create a rule for uh, seat and climate control where it goes on under certain, under certain uh, parameters or lowering the window. So with those, all of them you have to do, you just simply turn them on and you add a GPS activation point, usually wherever you are. So you can do things like, you know, if you have a drive through that you go through on a normal basis. If you, uh, you know, uh, live in a gay community and need to swipe a little thing by the main gate to get in. Um, picking up your mailbox, you know, little things like that, whatever it might be. You can activate uh, a GPS location and have it automatically put down your window for you. That's one of the great things you can do from that. And then, of course, the last but not least, if you don't have things like Apple CarPlay or Android Auto running, 
which by the way, if you haven't seen those, you press and hold this for three seconds to activate that. I do not have mine set up right now, otherwise I'd have an extra little icon right here for Apple CarPlay since I have an Apple phone. Uh, but what you can do is you can also say, you know, call you know, Uncle Dan from your uh, device and it can do that as long as you're in BMW iDrive mode, not in uh, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Now, of course, it's not your only limitation. You can also tell it to, uh, for instance, turn this up a little bit. I do apologize. I'm going to keep talking over this so we don't get any kind of weird stuff happening where we get you know issues with the music. Uh, but you can say things like, Friday, Sirius Channel 51. I caught her in a weird loop. Friday. Yeah, just in a loop. Sirius XM Channel 51. Good lord, her loop is really bad right now. I do apologize, everyone. Boop. Friday. I want to listen to Sirius XM Channel 51. This will be a last attempt to have it work in the background. All right, well, for whatever reason, she's having a little bit of an issue as of right now. I'm not entirely sure why, but... Yeah. Oh, also, you get the same little indication right here, so if you are in the middle of driving, you don't have to pull your eye outside all the way over here to focus on it. You can just simply look down. Currently oh, currently not available. Interesting. I wonder why. Oh, although it did change up to Sirius for whatever reason in the background. Just didn't go to the direct one. Either way, it's supposed to go directly to that channel. Um, another one you can get is things like uh, access your carrying car. Again, I have another video on that as well. Just feel free to look through uh, BMW's carrying car. And you can do things like, for instance, Friday, I feel stressed. Which one of these destinations should I select? Good Lord, she's making me really, really a liar right now. I feel stressed. Right. Because you're not working properly. The <laughs> there it is. So, of course, that changes uh, all those. Again, if you haven't seen the carrying car video, that is available on YouTube as well. Um, let's end this program. But, of course, that's not all you can do. You can also do things like ask for... Come on, 10 seconds. Sorry, end it. And there we go. You can also do things like Friday. What's the weather like? Load that weather app. Currently, it is cloudy in Fort Washington with a temperature of 37 degrees. Boop, boop. Let's just uh, turn that down a little bit. Again, don't want to mess with any of the YouTube things saying that we can't use that music, even though it's on the radio and we're not doing it on purpose. <laughs> but uh, neither here nor there. Uh, and of course, last but not least, the kind of things you can do with your uh, personal assistant. Now let me get that. You can also do things like Friday. Friday. How are my tire pressures? The current tire pressure is okay in all tires. So yeah, you can do things like that. It does respond to just normal, you know, everyday speech. Minus that little glitch we had a few months before there. Um, but yes, it's basically these are most of the updates that you have again you can always do it by either wake word or just a quick press on this guy going back to the beginning so depends on what you're looking for and it's supposed to make everything easier for you with that thanks so much for being with us if you found this video helpful please like comment share and subscribe if you're new to bnw thanks for joining us on this little tutorial if you are just new to idrive 7 uh with that 
Uh, keep, keep in touch. We are going to get a new video out about uh, the upcoming i4 and iX, as well as some other fun things happening in the future. Uh, including iDrive 8. I'm going to get a little sneak peek behind the scenes for that for you guys uh, coming up soon. And with that, thanks for being with us. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for being with us, being who you are, and just joining us. Have a great one.